Okay, in this video here we're going to demonstrate the pairing process between a Dana R insulin pump and an Android cell phone. This is a Samsung S4 or S3 mini, sorry, and it has the Dana Android software already pre-installed on it. So we're going to open the software up, and at the same time what we will also do is wake the pump up. And in the pump menu we're going to scroll through to the setting menu, in the setting menu we select OK and then we scroll through the setting menu until you see an icon that says Discovery. On the Discovery menu we select OK on the front screen of the pump. The pump is now flashing with a little wine glass signal, it's a little aerial symbol saying that it is discoverable and looking for Bluetooth devices to connect to. On the phone, top right hand corner there's a little phone display, we touch that button and it says that we need to go to Device Discovery and then we say, do you want to discover your device? And we say, yes, discover. So it's now searching and looking for other Bluetooth devices. Okay, it's come up and selected the serial number for our pump. So it's talking to one another. And we say, connect. Okay, it's now come up and it's re reiterated once again our serial number across the top that we can confirm. We can look at the pump and say, yes, that's correct. And it's asking for a PIN number as required. Now, in this particular case, the PIN number is 0000, zero, zero, zero is the PIN number. Okay. Completed. So we're now looking at the front screen or the menu bar of the pump. We can see that the pump has 269 units in the reservoir. The battery, right, excuse me, the battery is 100% capacity, and you can see in the top right hand corner, it's a little bit faded, but it's easy to see for me, is that it says that the pump is currently running at 0.83 of a unit per hour, which is 100% of its normal basal rate at this time of the day. We touch here, we can see more information. That shows the insulin volume in the reservoir, shows the battery percentage, it shows the basal rate at its current rate shows the previous bolus time and amount and it also shows whether there's any active insulin that's currently still working in the pump from previous boluses today. This particular pump has zero units active in it so we go back to the main menu. Now what we're also going to show you right now is to demonstrate perhaps a quick bolus and the quick and easy way to also show you this is that what we'll do first of all is we will exit this menu and we say yes to complete the start of this video we're showing you how to pair the two devices together with a secure Bluetooth connection and we entered a pairing code. That's usually only completed once. Once done, we can now discreetly wear our insulin pump under clothing or hidden inside a jacket. You should never need to touch or to look at the pump again. And to securely deliver boluses or to enter details into the pump at any time, we can now just open this application on our phone. So we touch on the Dana R. Android application and we just say connect. Previously we went into the discovery mode. Opens up the pump menu and it's permanently connected to that particular pump now. Now if we were out at the cafe with some colleagues or some friends we can now just go down to the bolus calculator in this bottom corner. It opens up a menu bar and it's asking us what is our current BG, how much carbohydrate are we having, um, what's our ideal or target BG, what's our carb to insulin ratio and what's our correction factor. Now most of this information has actually just been taken or withdrawn from the pump so we don't need to amend or change much of it. But what we might wish to do is to adjust or amend our current BG. We're not currently 12.2 which is perhaps what the last test was done on this pump was. We're going to dial or change that down to current BGM that we may read from a CGM device or from our blood glucose meter that we may have just completed the test on. So the current BG might be 8.3, we go OK. Carbohydrate, 32 grams of carbohydrate, sounds about right for me for a small snack or a sandwich to eat at a cafe, OK. My target BG, 5.5, my CIR or carb to insulin ratio is 1 unit of insulin per 13 grams of carbohydrate and my correction factor is 1 unit of insulin per 3 millimole changes in BG. So one unit of insulin brings me my BG down by three millimoles. And once again, these are all pre-configured amounts that have been programmed into this pump by time of day. So we can now merely just go calculate. 
comes up and says that to change my BG from 9.3 down to 5.5 I need 0.93 of a unit of insulin. My carbohydrate requires 2.46 units. I have zero active insulin currently working, so the bolus suggested is 3.39 units. I can either increase, decrease or change that, or else I can just say bolus. I want it all at once as a standard bolus, so I can go start. Start bolus, yes. And the pump is delivering. Very discreetly, very simple, very easy to do. And there's little audible tones or vibration alerts that would come from the pump just to let you know that your pump is doing what it, you suspected it should be doing without actually having to look at it. I'll pull it out of your pocket to confirm or to check it. And I can also see from the front display that it's about 50-53% of the way through the delivery. And when the delivery gets to finished, I'll get a different audible tone from the pump to say completed. Okay, finish. Phone drops out to the main menu again. And if I'm finished, I can go exit, or else I might choose to do something completely different. For instance, um, I could go and adjust the basal settings. I can adjust the bolus settings or the user options. I can adjust my carb to insulin ratios by time of day. Anything you do in the buttons of a pump can be done on the phone. So my morning CIR. There's a different value to what it is at this time of the day and I can scroll through and change all of the different parameters and the settings within the pump and at the end of it I can go save and then the phone is going to send this message to the pump if I so desire. There are some other things that I might choose to do, go back to the main menu, would be to start a temporary rate. If I was going to walk home from the cafe, I might choose to dial this down from 100% delivery, which is normal standard basal delivery, to perhaps 60%, and I say it's going to take me half an hour, an hour to walk home. So I can say one hour delivery, start, start, start temporary decrease. And the pump's really quite clever, and that is that it's actually suggesting to us that we're decreasing the basal. Yes, we are. It sends the message to the pump. I can now see on the front display here that the pump's now are no longer delivering. Um, 0.83 of a unit per hour is now delivering 0.49 of a unit per hour, which is 60% of its normal delivery. And it's got a little symbol here on the front display to show that there's a little man running and that it's actually delivering a temporary basal rate. I can now go exit. Are you sure you're on exit? Yes, I am. Um, and I can put my phone back in my pocket and continue along the way. Thank you very much.